This is Scott C. Warren of UFO Sightings Daily, and what we're looking at is a giant black cube that could not possibly exist on the surface of Mercury. Uh, I circled it in red. Let me take off that red. It's gone. Uh, but this cube is right here. It's hard to see at first, but when you look carefully, you can see it. Let me zoom out. This is the planet Mercury. I'm looking at the second photo on the area of Mercury where I talked about before. Let's zoom in again on this puppy. Now there's a lots of stuff in this photo. There really is. There's stuff all over this photo. But this is the crown jewel. This is the 100% sure uh, structure of the entire photo. So that's why I'm focusing so much on this. This is an incredible cube. It shows, it shows a uh, shadow all the way around. See the shadow on this side, which shows that the sunlight is shining from this direction. And they tried to hide it in a crater, except it's, this is massively tall. So it's really, really hard to hide it in a crater. Uh, it, being a cube and in the position it's in, it's clearly that... It is a structure that was made by intelligence and it is portable. That means it can move from place to place to place. Right now it's disguised as the shadow in a crater. But since it chose a crater that is so small, genius captain of that ship, um, <clears throat> we found it very easily. Now let's look at some other stuff, okay? We got things all over this photo. Let me zoom out. This is the Mercury photo we're looking at. Uh, let me zoom in again. I took it. I increased its size by 300%. Okay. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Let's look at some of these structures here. Uh, we got some structures inside the edges of the crater. They try to hide in the shadows, but it's not going to work for us. Why? It looks like that NASA used an infrared camera. Infrared cuts right through shadows, even cuts through black or blue ink. If you spill it on top of a newspaper on a table, you cannot see the newspaper. But if you use infrared camera, it will shoot right through the blue or black ink. Infrared is an amazing thing. Let me enlarge this a little bit. Look at the detail on this. See it? It's in the shadows. Don't mix it up with pixelization. Uh, what these lines are is still confusing to me even now. Uh, perhaps it's NASA. Perhaps it's some kind of shielding that uh, the Mercury, the planet itself, has over it. Um, I'll let you guys guess on that. I'm just worried about the structures. I circled the structures in red so we can see them better. Okay, make that a little bit larger there. Uh, I got structures all over on this place. Let me zoom out a bit. Give me a second. There we are. Here's a structure that's very, very white, but the same kind of structure. White uh, showing us that it's very, very reflective. Highly reflective. Since infrared picks up mostly uh, rays from the sun, uh, other things are not noticed as much. So uh, light from other sources are ignored, but light from the sun is picked up very quickly. Okay. Trying to move this to the center. See these towering structures? Almost looks like a thumb with a, a thumb up with a, you know, a hand there. Here's some other structures. Zooming out, I'm going to go through this video a little bit faster. Um, got a lot more to make with other photos. Okay, you see the typical honeycomb structure that I talked about earlier that uh, people on planet Mercury use. Um, sorry, I must have circled something there. Delete that. Okay. Uh, this is just a circle I made earlier so I can find it while I'm doing the video. It uh, doesn't reflect on the photo at all, and I did not alter the color or the contrast. 
so if you alter the color or contrast, you might be able to find a lot more than I did. See these structures up here? Little tiny things. Uh, ignore the tiny things. It's less important. Um, but look at the massive structure around this crater. It's huge. And down here too. Uh, this one almost looks like a person's head with a body, chest, arm, arm, leg, you know, lying down. Uh, this, I don't know, it's just structure. But it's really amazing. Over here in the yellow, things circled by yellow are faces. I found quite a few faces. They're pretty ancient looking. Um, uh, but uh, they're not that significant, really. Uh, are they making faces from their past, faces from their cultural events, faces from their creative cr minds? Or are they real faces they intermingle with? Um, it's very confusing. So to say every face is a species is you know, pretty much ridiculous. Uh, so I don't want to say every face is a species. Um, this could be a face too, but uh, it's hard to see it. Okay, right over here are some more structures. Here is a structure, kind of a triangle-shaped tent-like structure, very long. And of course, it's not a tent. I'm just using that shape. Um, more of a triangle cube, but it is amazing. Over here we have a face circled in yellow. Uh, looks like a dog. Um, here's the other ear. We can't see it very good. We'd have to outline it over there. Here's an ear, eye, eye, nose, and little mouth. Okay, it looks a lot like a dog. Here is a structure. It's a little hard to see because I enlarged it a lot. Here's a face. I've seen this face before. I found it in other Mercury uh, photos. Strange. Uh, it has a very big upper lip. Looks like a Neanderthal. See the nose, the eyebrow, the forehead, and the deep chin like a gorilla almost. Um, I don't expect you to see the face unless you probably had uh, a good eye in art. I've had um, 13, 14 years of art in my background, so sadly these things pop out very easily for me. It's like, where's Waldo? Okay, here you see another structure. I can make it larger, but I am afraid if I do there, see the quality might go a little bit. Um, so you can see this structure right here, and I don't know about this one, but it's next to this one, and it looks like a structure, so I circled it. This one, I am 100% certain, is this structure. Okay, let's shoot off. Uh, zoom out so we can see more of the map and where we are. Okay, here we are on the far left of the photo. Uh, we should try to move a little bit right and see what other things we'll find over here. Okay, quite a few things here. Let me zoom in. Okay. Oh, back to the thumbs up again structure. Uh, but not too far from that is a lot of other interesting structures. Again, right here in the center, we have another tower-like structure. That's a little harder to see. But over here on these four craters, we have these little structures built into the side. Uh, let me see how close we could zoom in on that. A uh, little bit difficult. We lost it. You can see a little bit eye, eye, nose, mouth there. Cute. Um, but let's zoom over and look at this structure a little bit. These ones are whiter and more reflective in a darker crater, which is a little interesting. I don't see that very often. Zooming out, zooming over, and over here we have some more faces. Uh, you might not be able to see the faces very well. Uh, that's okay. Let me zoom in on it as much as I dare. This face is looking to the right. Here's the nose, the eyes, the eyebrow, the chin. Um, here's eye, eye, nose, face. This one's looking directly at us. This one's looking to our right. Uh, not that significant, really. We don't see a lot of detail in those. There's another face. Uh, this one is harder to make out. Ear, helmet. Uh, nose and eye area, mouth, a big overbite there. Strange. 
Okay. Uh, more faces. Sorry. This one's looking to the right. This one's looking at us. Uh, so that one's better detail. Maybe you can actually see that yourselves. Most of you um, really haven't tried to look for faces, so if you haven't tried, it's a little harder. See the eye, the nose, the mouth, the chin. It almost looks like hair coming down here and here, uh, sort of like George Washington's face. Um, this face is looking this way. This face is looking to the right. That one, this one's sort of looking to the left. Less important, like I said. Well, what really is important are the structures, and this structure is hard to see. It's kind of a triangle structure. And here's another face, but it looks like it has a structure on the bottom of it. So let's look at that one. Uh, face here, but uh, some black structures underneath. Okay. Um, there's another one down here I want to show you. It is a black dome-like structure. Same photo at the very bottom center. Interesting little dome-like structure. And here we are with these funny little honeycomb things again. Uh, these honeycomb structures seem to be the norm for mercury. There's quite a bit of it everywhere. Made it inside of a crater. There are some normal honeycomb structures, normal, and a pyramid right here. As you see, it looks like a three-sided pyramid on um, the this part of the crater. Let me zoom out so you can see this better. And zoom back in. But it's very interesting, they also use a pyramid shape for something. Zoom back out there, there you go. Better detail there. Come down and look at this other structure nearby. Okay, and there seems to be one more over here. What not serious significance, you can't see it very well now. Um, but this pyramid seems to be of high interest. Uh, everyone's talking about pyramids around YouTube, and I, I think uh, this one's pretty amazing since it's next to an alien structure on Mercury. Okay, guys. Uh, here is the cube again before I'm closing and just show it to you where it is with the photo. It's near this big long black hole in the photo and it's close to the upper section of the photo. Okay, so that is the right side of the photo there. right here. Zoom back in. So look at my photo if you can't find it and um, hopefully it helps you out. Uh, sorry the focus is not so great there um, but let me show you where to find this photo. On the website this is number 2 1996 taken 923. Don't mistake it for number 1. This is number 2 video I'm working on. PIA 00067 right there this is the photo and come over here to JPEG don't waste your time with this this is up there for looks it's not higher detail don't be fooled they want to fool you please stop by UFO sightings daily sometime and check us out